Well, hello, everybody. Happy Monday. It's good to have everybody back as we continue studying about functions and modeling and predicting change. And as we're studying this, remember, the only thing constant in life is change. So as we go back to uh, where we were, uh, today we're picking up with linear and nonlinear functions. So we're looking at the two types of functions that we're going to encounter in math uh, one, as well as math for the rest of your math career. And so the first function we're going to start with is the linear functions. And on this slide, you see the model for a linear function, either f of x equals mx plus b, which is the function notation, or y equals mx plus b, which is the other form. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do some function tables where we do inputs and outputs, and then we're gonna list our ordered pairs, and then we're going to graph these so you can see the difference between linear and nonlinear functions and what the different types of functions look like. So if we begin here with this first uh, function table, our linear function is f of x equals three x plus five. So what we're going to do is take these inputs that I have pre-selected here, place each input into the rule, and then write the output over here. And as we're doing this, what we are creating is a list or a, a set of ordered pairs that we are going to graph. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and take each of these inputs and put it into my function rule, and then put my output over here in this column. All right, so what I indeed created here was a set of ordered pairs. And so what I'm going to do is just start at the top of my function table here and place each input with its output. So I have an input of negative 2, and the corresponding output is a negative 1. And then I have an input of negative 1 and a corresponding output of 2. And then I have an input of 0 and a corresponding output of 5, an input of 1, and a corresponding output of 8, and an input of 2, and a corresponding output of 11. Okay, so that's essentially what I did here is I used my inputs, put them in the function rule, created some outputs that they're each matched with, and so now I have a set of ordered pairs. So I don't know if you've ever, if you were introduced to the Desmos graphing feature last year or not. It's what we're going to be using to do this. So on your assignment, just click here and that will open up the Desmos graphing calculator for you. And as you get to this first home page, just click this graphing calculator button and you have here a coordinate plane. Now, the way we're going to graph these points today is we're going to just come over here to the plus where it says add item and then click on table. And once you do that, you can input your ordered pairs. OK, so make sure you put the proper ordered pair with the uh, one that it corresponds with. And I'm sure you can see that as you're doing this that the Desmos graph is beginning to plot the points over here for you. Okay. All right, so you can look at these points and see that they're going to make a line. But what you can also do is come over here where it says edit list right up here on this little gear symbol. Click on the color dot here and you can select and turn on the lines feature and then click done and once you do that you can see that you have graphed a line so we know that that's why it is called a linear function because a linear function is a function whose graph is a line so now we're going to screenshot come back over here and then where it says graph we're going to insert the graph now, 
down here it says example. So what I want you to do is you can you can pause the video and do it now, or you can do it when you're all done. Is down here are four different uh, videos for you to watch. They're all only about two to four minutes long that, that give you examples of where these different types of functions are used. So you're gonna watch the one for linear function and then come back here and right here put the example for a linear function. So if you would like, you can pause the video now and do that or you can watch them at the end and come back to it. All right, the next function we're gonna move on to is, is a nonlinear function, and this is the quadratic function. And its model is f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, or like you see, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So we'll do the same thing here on the next slide, is we have a series of pre-selected inputs, that we're going to put in our function rule and we're going to come up with our corresponding outputs. So when negative two goes into the function rule, I have four because negative two times negative two is four. And then negative two times a positive two gives me a negative four plus five. That gives me the result of five. So negative one squared is going to be one. Two times a negative one gives me a minus two plus five again, and that's gonna give me an output of four. So zero squared is zero, plus two times zero is zero, plus five is gonna give me the output of five. Then one, one squared is one, plus two times one, which is two, plus five gives me an output of eight. And then two squared is four, plus two times two, which is four, plus five, gives me an output of 13. All right, so same thing is I'm gonna come over here to my Desmos graphing calculator, and I will just click the X to clear this, plus it enter a table. So I'm gonna have here negative two, Five, negative one, four, zero, five, one, eight, two, thirteen. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. And again, if we come up here to the gear and over here to the dot and we click lines, we see here that this makes kind of a curve. And this particular curve is what we would call a parabola, okay? This is what we call a parabola. So another thing that I could also do, and I'll show you this on Desmos as well, though while you're doing this, I want you to practice inputting the points with the table, but I could also just type the function here, which was f of x, equals x, shift of six gives me the exponent, plus two x, plus five. And there's another picture of what the graph looks like. So like I said, you can type the function here or you can type in the table. Uh, for today, I want you to practice using the table function because we're gonna be using the Desmos feature a lot this year. So I want to make sure that you are able to use this table function um, when the time comes up to use it. All right, so I'm gonna zoom this one out just a little bit and then I'm going to screenshot. And there's my graph of the quadratic function. And of course, down here, you'd want to list your ordered pairs as well. I uh, did not do that like I did in my other example, but you wanna put that list of ordered pairs down here as well.
All right, and so this here for your example, again, you can go back and watch the video. Uh, one thing I'm going to give you right now is the name of this graph. This graph is called a parabola, okay? Now, also still watch the video and see an example of where parabolas are used in everyday life, but that's what you could type for this one down here, okay? Now, the next one is another nonlinear function, and this is the exponential function. So it's f of x equals a times b to the x, or y equals a b to the x. So in this particular function, your input is going to be your exponent this time, okay? So if I start here, the rule here is f of x equals 2 to the x power. So I have here the function rule. So 2 to the 0 power, anything to the 0 power is going to be 1. So here we'll just write 2, and then we'll go with format, text, script, 2 to the 0 power. And then my output over here is going to be 1. And then anything to the first power is itself. So 2. To the first power is going to be 2. All right, now we've got 2 squared, so that's going to be 2 times 2. I'm going to write this in expanded form just to make it easier. That's going to be 4. And then this is going to be 2 to the third power, so that would be 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. And then we've got 2 to the fourth power, which would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that's going to be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times another 2 is 16. So again, here are my ordered pairs. My set of ordered pairs is going to be 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 8, 4, 16. All right, so we'll go back over here to Desmos. And let's use our table function again. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3. All right. So again, come up to your gear, edit list. Click right over here on the dot, lines. And there you go. So what you see here, this is the exponential function, and it is another curve. So I hope you're noticing here that when we're graphing in math, we're either making lines or curves, okay? We're either making lines or curves. So let's go ahead and screenshot this one. And there you have a graph of the exponential function. Now, at this point, again, for the example, come back here to the posting. You have the exponential function link here. Go ahead and watch that and find your example. And then for the final two, the root function, as well as the absolute value function, I'm going to let you do those on your own because I think you can handle it. And for your absolute value function, um, I don't have any, a video of an example for you to look at, so just graph the function so you see what it looks like and you can recognize it, but know also that the absolute value function is a nonlinear function. All right, so this is basically your assignment for today is to just complete the slides and watch these four videos, and tomorrow we will get into something else. 
And make sure you pay very close attention to this announcement that's up here. All right. Have a great day, everybody. You can meet me on Google Meet at uh, 1045 to 1145 if you need anything. Uh, you can email me, and I will certainly be glad to help you and to give you some assistance. So have a great day.